market women, artisans and other stakeholders at the grassroots are in for a good time as Lagos State Government launches the Lyrical Virtual Boost Initiative and Standard Jara Health Insurance Plan to make health care services readily available to residents. Governor Mubajide Solo urged Lagos residents to embrace the health initiatives through the Standard Jara Health Insurance Plan which will allow enrollees pay their premium installment and accessible health care services to people in the informal sector with the virtual booth installed in the marketplace. The governor also confirmed the signing of an executive order to further strengthen the new health initiatives, expecting more residents to embrace the health insurance scheme to give more people access to health care facilities. Let us be aware that this is for our citizens, it's for our people, and there's no better means. We brought these things to you, we brought it closer to where you are, and please let's make use of them. We will continue to support your efforts. We will continue to ensure that we create the advocacy that is required, and to also continue to explain to our citizens the dangers around self-medication or other med medical self-help that might be dangerous to our health. Please let us continue to ask questions. Let us utilize initiatives like this as against you just self-medicating yourself. Special advisor to the governor on health, Lua Kimi Ogwemi, who lauded the Sawalu administration's commitment to health initiatives, noted that Lagos State places high value on the lives and health of eight citizens. We know that have shown gratitude and are relieved to know that their health care is in safe hands. With this, Lagos State has consistently proven that she is indeed the first of all people. The chairman, governing council of Lachma, Adib Adibayo Adidewe, who said a total of 300 virtual booths are being proposed across the state, noted that the effort is to ensure that more residents have access to quality and affordable health care. People, which is a kiosk within the community, shops, motor parks, for those who are not able to go to physical facilities to seek medical help. So they can go from their shop, 10 minutes, they are back to the shop, they don't lose anything in terms of income, and they can still access the medical assistance that they may need. Talk to doctor or get medications, and then you can get their vital important health signs that they will be able to know that they are well and all that the Flanagan Jara Health Insurance Scheme has telemedicine as part of its permanent component, annual medical screening, cardiologist, ear, nose and throat, orthopedic treatment, among others. Our correspondent Adela Kinele reports that the Lyrico Virtual Boost Initiative will be available in five locations of the state, in Yaba, Kitsu, Trini Kurundu, Ayeto Repe, and will be expanded to garages and motor parks across the state to enhance quality of health care to residents. Highlight of the event was the investor of Governor Solu as the Grand Ambassador of Health Universal Care Coverage for Lagos State. Lagos State Governor Babajiri Solu has announced the commitment of a sum of five billion naira to kickstart the development of a new and modern permanent national youth service corps NYC orientation camp in the state. Governor Solu stated these at the passing out parade and official closing of the NYC 2024 Batch B Stream One core members of the NYC orientation camp Yannick Baja where he urged core members to create positive impacts and embrace all the challenges and opportunities in patriotism to contribute meaningfully to the development of the state and the country. The governor also donated the sum of 100 million naira to NYC members of staff and supporting agencies, her 4,244 core members in the 2024 Batch B Strip 1 will get 100,000 naira each. Governor Sonwoli, who noted, who donated a 32-seater bus for the use of core members in Lagos, had promised automatic employment for the first 100 outstanding core members at the expiration of the service year. Let us, Lagos will give you that enablement that you require for you to succeed going forward. I want to say to you, 
that Lagos know they carry last. Lagos is not just a showpiece, it's a land of opportunity that is boundless, that is limitless. And you have all the rights and all the privileges to go out there and take it up and walk with it and run with it because you never know what life will throw at you. NYC coordinator Lagos State Itunde Badirinwa congratulated the core members sworn in three weeks ago for orientation for successfully participating and concluding the program as they are ready to go into the world after a robust training for the goals and objectives of the national service in social activities, skills acquisition, paramilitary training, teamwork, collaborations, among others. Badenwa also appealed to the state government to expedite action on the construction of a new and modern orientation camp for core members in the state. And objectives of the national service are realized in the states, uh, they are immense. Therefore, let this serve as a motivation to others to serve the nation diligently, bearing in mind the words of the oath of allegiance which admitted you into the service for the fatherland. As we do not have any other place to call our own, we must strive to make Nigeria a better place to be. Our correspondent Adia Lakinili reports that highlight of the event was the inspection of Guard of Honor by Governor Sonwulu, clad in the full NYC outfit, and a march passed by guards on parade consisting 36 core members. The Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, has celebrated its 24th anniversary with a series of impactful events, including the presentation of 16.5 million naira as financial assistance to injured officers. LASMA also recognized 10 outstanding officers for their exceptional service. General Manager Olale Kombakarioki, who highlighted the insignificant milestone and achievement of the agency over the past 24 years, commended the dedication and hard work of all LASMA officers in ensuring the safety and smooth flow of traffic within Lagos. Bakariyoki noted that the agency's new toll-free call center has been inaugurated to serve as support, complaints, and accommodation from members of the public, particularly motoring public. The motoring public can reach the center via 0800 0052-7862. In a bid to promote health and wellness among staff and students, the Lagos State Education District CIS has launched its monthly Walk for Fitness initiative for staff. Speaking at the inaugural event, Tutor General and Permanent Secretary of the District, Sharifa Yusuf said the program is aimed at encouraging a culture of physical activity and stress-free living. She emphasized the importance of prioritizing health and wellness, urging staff members to take care of themselves to better serve their student, community, and the state, while announcing that the Walk for Fitness will now be a monthly affair in line with the state civil service practice. Yusuf also suggested introducing the program to students during morning assemblies to promote a holistic approach to health and wellness. And that's it on the state news at 7, but just before we go, and sure, the registration mark on your vehicle is clear and visible at all times. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X, at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961.ng. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that's the Somalu administration trained 500 unemployed youth in soft skills and job interview program? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adesua. Enjoy your car. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good evening. Up next is the second leg of return trip with Sarah.
อดีสวย